Well, it doesn't get much better than this, cruising along in the high teens and low flight levels at 200 knots plus behind a glass smooth Rolls Royce turbine. Hello everyone, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for Aviation Consumer on a unique modification for the Cessna P210, the Silver Eagle by O&N Aircraft. The big problem with single engine turbines is weight versus fuel consumption, but the Rolls 250 B17 F2 has a trick up its sleeve. Here's O&N's Myron Olson. The weight of the engine is much reduced from the, from the piston engine. It's uh, 212 pounds and the piston was 487. And the fuel burn is fairly close to what it was before, um, a little more. The worst part of it is it's a lot more expensive. Okay, well, it gets off the ground in about 600 feet, lands in about 500. Uh, initially, it'll climb 3,000 feet a minute. You get up higher, it gets down to around 12, 1,400 feet a minute. There's no shock cooling of the engine. You don't have to worry about shock cooling the engine coming in descent. Uh, you can pull the power right back to idle to come down. A pickle airplane would call four people uh, full of fuel and 70 pounds of baggage. The Silver Eagle is a spinner to tail cone remanufacturer of the P210 airframe and it includes new glass avionics. This one has a Chelton system, but lately O&N has been using the Garmin G600. Although the Rolls is derated to 450 horsepower, the Silver Eagle comes off the runway like a bottle rocket. We flew with O&N's Carl Reynolds for a look at cruise speeds. We've just taken off from uh, Siemens Airport in Factoryville, Pennsylvania. That's a 2,500 foot airport and a runway, and we got off in about 600 feet or so. I'm with uh, Carl Reynolds of uh, o and Aircraft. That was a typical takeoff for aircraft flight? It was a typical short field if you don't... Um, we have traffic out in front of us here. If you're uh, not using an aggressive takeoff, uh, you know, uh, 10 degrees flaps, I use 20 on that, if you use 10 degrees flaps, Standard so takeoff about 1,000 feet. That was the traffic we called out. Just leveled off at 17,500. It took about uh, 13 minutes to get up here. A little warm today. It's a plus 13 uh, centigrade above standard day. And uh, so we've leveled off, and uh, our uh, true airspeed is uh, 197 knots, and that's on uh, 23 gallons. Uh, now, Carl, uh, on a cooler day, we'd be going a lot faster, and we'd be going uh, considerably faster if we were higher. Yeah, we'd go, uh, it's uh, not a big difference higher, a uh, little bit, I mean a couple knots per thousand feet with altitude, the air is obviously thinner and stuff, but uh, the cooler really helps big time. I mean, you'll find yourself on an instrument standard day, it'd be 215, and uh, you know, on a cold day, you're, some of these are in the 222 to 227 area. You know, each is just a little bit different, no two are exactly the same. Uh, so on a day like today with a full fuel load, and at this speed, uh, we would easily have a thousand mile range? Yes, oh absolutely. With comfortable reserves? Yes. Uh, with an hour and a half reserve even usually. Okay. For as impressive as the Silver Eagle is in takeoff and cruise, the landings are absolutely breathtaking. In a P210, the approach speed is around 90 knots, and that will make a country runway look pretty short when you're crossing the numbers. But once the wheels are planted, a bunch of reverse thrust will stop the airplane in 200 feet. The piston airplane will need three times as much length. You can find out more about the Silver Eagle at ONN's website at onaircraft.com and in the September 2010 issue of Aviation Consumer. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Paul Bertarelli. Thanks for watching.